Okay, so just find a comfortable place, um, somewhere on your mat. You can face the top of your mat. Now, if sitting with crossed ankles doesn't feel good, you can always butterfly or take the feet out long. Sometimes sitting up onto a block or a bolster can take that, um, take some of the strain out of the front of the hip flexors. So knowing that there's always options to grab some pillows underneath your seat, but today we're just going to start in seated. Okay. Close down your eyes and then just allow your hands to rest heavy onto your knees or onto your thighs. Roll your shoulders up, down and back a couple of times. And settle them down your spine away from your ears. You can just shift forward and back and side to side a couple of times. Start to find your sits bones. So two bones at the base of your spine. If you kind of wiggle around a little bit, you should feel two little bones pressing in towards the earth, the bottoms of your ischium or of your pelvic area. And then from there, with each inhale that you take, just imagine that you're stacking your bones from this point of rootedness. I'm starting to bring one vertebra at a time on top of one another. And then with each exhale that you take, feeling grounded, like there's a magnetic pull towards the earth. Well, there is gravity. <laughs> but just starting to feel this dualistic nature to the practice. That there's a lift as you inhale, a slight lengthening of the spine, and then as you exhale, a heaviness, just allowing yourself to drop down towards the earth. Notice a rise and fall of your chest. Start on rising towards your chin and then softening away. Listen for the sounds of your breath. And can you allow both the feeling and sound of your breath to just take up a little bit more room in your consciousness. Any distractions around you just start to become lighter. They perhaps aren't quite as loud in noise. I'm just giving your full attention to breath in and breath out. Feel your elbows drop heavy towards the earth. And before we get moving this morning, this week's intention is kindness. I think we're all doing the best we can right now and always, but this world could use a little more kindness. And so today we start with kindness towards self. What does your body need this morning? What is it craving? And how can you show up on your mat and offer kindness rather than competition, judgment, expectation? Gently begin to drop your chin down towards your chest, still keeping a tall spine. On an inhale breath, trace your left ear towards your left shoulder. Chin can start to tip up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, take a half circle, 
Chin drops down through center, and then right ear to right shoulder. And just move a couple of times side to side. You might start to notice your breath and movement weaving together. Half of this movement joining the inhale and the other half finishing off with the exhale. Just take one more movement to each side, starting to warm up the cervical spine. And the next time that your chin comes down through center, pause and then gently just rise your head up. Inhale, breath, reach your arms out and up. Gaze can always follow, opening up top of the throat. And then exhale, take your hands to your heart center, humble your chin to your chest. Inhale, breath, reach out, lips span through the fingertips, lengthen through the spine as you reach up. And then exhale, solid your hands to your heart. One more time, inhale, breath, reach out and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, reach out and up. This time, lower your left hand down beside you. Start to reach your right fingertips over. And the left hand can be rooted or on fingertips. The further out you go, the more sensation you'll get. So just holding a little bit of space for yourself to still move through this. Inhale through your nose. As you exhale, start to rotate your chest towards your left knee. Take your right fingertips towards the top left corner of your mat. Fold. Inhale, breath. Right hand lifts up to the sky, maybe even back behind you. Open through your chest and inner line of your arm. And then exhale, fold and crawl off to the left side. Just move through this a couple more times. Inhales, opening up the front line of your body. Exhales, expanding into the back line. Take one more full open. And then as you go to close this movement, walk your fingertips out away from your body, maybe in line with your knee. Tent up onto all 10 fingertips. Lengthen through your spine like you're drawing your heart forward. And then let your head relax and soften, maybe even in between your biceps. Head hangs heavy, but spine is elongated. As you breathe in, can you feel the lengthening traveling all the way down towards your right hip? And as you breathe out, that there's a softening of the shoulders. Take one more full breath, just like this. And keep this slightly twisted variation. Walk your hands in towards your body over towards the left side. And then start to place your right hand onto your left knee and then reach your left fingertips back behind you in line with your shoulders. So opening up the inner line of your arm, draw your belly button in towards your spine. Gaze might even follow your left thumb. If you want to make this more challenging, release your right hand and take your right fingertips forward so that you're using your core to help with this twist. Release your right hand back onto your thigh. As you inhale, circle your left fingertips up to the sky and then over towards your right knee, crisscross your arms. Inhale, breath, twist open to the other side. Take your right hand back behind you. You really reach through your right fingertips. Optional to take your left fingertips forward using the strength of your core to aid in this twist. Gaze might even follow back behind. On your next inhale breath, lift your right hand up through center, left hand roots down, and then exhale, crisscross your hands again. Release the crisscross of your hands, lean back, and then switch the cross of your ankles. Okay. Roll your shoulders once, maybe twice. 
Inhale, round three turns all the way up, big circle. Exhale, pour over to the right this time. Right hand roots, left fingertips drop over. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, rotate towards the earth, left armpit towards your right knee. Inhale, breath, open up, almost like you're flipping a book open. And then exhale, like you're closing that book really, really slowly, mindfully. Taking the time this morning to really open up through the spine, to massage out the muscles along the back. Can you just feel how your body is becoming more accommodating to this movement? The next time that you go to fold over to the right, just pause, release your hands to the earth, and then walk your fingertips over to the top right corner of your mat. Lengthen through your spine first. And then if it feels okay, just allow your chin to drop heavy towards your chest, creating some opening into the back of the head and the neck. Fingertips strong and supporting you. Walk your fingertips back in towards your body, seated twist, left hand roots onto your right knee. Inhale, breath, reach back behind you with your right fingertips. And then exhale, lift your right hand up to the sky and land your right hand onto your left knee, crisscross your arms. Inhale, breath, twist open to the left. And exhale, and twist back through center, arms cross. One more to each side, inhale, open up to the right. And exhale, right hand sweeps up and over. Inhale, open up to the left. And exhale, left hand lands onto your knee. Unwind your arms, roll your shoulders once or twice, one more time. And then slide your hands forward and meet into a tabletop. Stack your shoulders over top of your wrists. If you want to use blocks for this practice, I really like blocks in some of these poses. So you're welcome to just set up your blocks at the top of your mat. Spread your fingertips wide, tuck your toes under. On an inhale breath, lift up to downward facing dog. On an exhale breath, lower back down to tabletop. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift your hips, melt your heels to the earth. And exhale, slowly lower your knees down. One more time, inhale, breath lift up. And exhale, lower your knees. This time, staying in down dog, rise your hips up and then just take any movements that feel good for your body. Picking up your heels one at a time, Pedaling out your feet. Continue to let your head hang heavy, relaxing into the back of the head, neck and shoulders. Knowing you can always take a shorter or longer stance if you need. Deeply bend into your knees. Walk your hands to the back of your mat for a fold. You can circle out the wrists a couple of times, especially if those are feeling tense this morning, or just allow your arms to dangle, maybe reach for opposite elbows. Sway a little bit side to side so you can start to feel the muscles in the backs of your legs. You can tip more weight forward or back. And then release whatever grip that you have with your hands. Inhale, breath, halfway lift and lengthen, press into your shins or the earth, rise up halfway. And then exhale to fold. Two more just like that. Inhale, breath, to lengthen. And exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, breath, halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Walk your fingertips forward, high plank. 
Shoulders stack over top of your wrists. Lower your knees to the earth. Inhale, shift your shoulders towards your fingertips. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down, belly and chest towards the ground. Inhale, breath, baby cobra. Peel your heart away from your mat. Elbows squeeze beside your rib cage. And exhale, lower down. Press into your hands, child's pose. Take your knees wide, big toes together to touch. Send your hips back to your heels. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Meet back to your downward facing dog. Tucking your toes, rising your hips high. And let's just take two more vinyasas, remembering to be really kind to your body, that it's okay to keep this modification. If you want to add in or take out anything, you're always welcome to. But just remembering that you have agency here in your practice. So on your next inhale breath, pull forward to a plank, lower your knees. As you exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, breath, lengthen and lift, cobra. Exhale, release down. Inhale, press back to a child's pose. And then use your exhale to just sink in. Take one extra breath in child's pose. And then use your inhale to bring you to your down dog. So run through that one more time on your own breath. Inhales pull you forward. Exhales will lower you. Inhales where you lift your heart. Exhales once again lower you. Inhales to lift away from the earth. And exhales to sink down. Once you land in child's pose, take another breath. And then let's meet into downward facing dog. Walk your big toes together to touch once you land into down dog. Inhale breath, float your right heel high to the sky. Exhale, step between your hands, low lunge, keep your back knee lifted. So this is where blocks might come in handy. I really like them for this shape. So you can always take your hands onto blocks or tent up onto fingertips. Take a full breath in, start to send your left hip forward, lift through your chest. Exhale, straighten out both legs, pyramid variation, fold over top of your front thigh. Inhale, breath, bend into your front knee, rise your back heel high. Exhale to fold, both legs straighten, hips lift. And just continue with this movement a couple more times, finding depth as you move through, rather than starting with an expectation of where you need to be. Kindness is often an act of just being present. And so notice what your body's craving, what is your body asking of you. And take one more inhale breath to draw yourself forward, option to lower the back knee. And then as you inhale, twist open to the right, take your right hand up, maybe even start to rotate through the rib cage, right hand drawing back behind you. Always optional to have that back knee lifted as well. As you exhale, gently release your right hand to your mat, turn and pivot all the way to the back of the mat, walk your hands along the long edge. Bring your blocks with you, actually, if you're going to be doing that. And then turning to the back of the mat, plant your hands onto the earth, three-legged dog. Sweep your left foot back behind you. As you exhale, step your left foot through. Low runner's lunge. Hands come back onto your blocks. Inhale, breath. Lower your right hip. Start to guide your heart forward. And then exhale, lift your hips, fold over top of your left thigh. Move at your own pace. More important to find your breath and find a level of connection here than about perfecting the poses. So just kind of letting go of that previous thought or dogma about the practice. And just allow this to be about movement 
about waking your body up in a nourishing way. The next time that you move towards your lunge, welcome to keep the back knee lifted or you can lower your right knee down. As you inhale, rise your left hand high. Open up through your chest, soften through your left shoulder. And then as you exhale, gently release your left hand down. A little bit different this time, tuck your back toes, lift your knee. Only take one of your blocks with you. So leave one block at the back of your mat. Start to walk yourself all the way to the front and then you can take that block to the top of your mat. So you should have a block at the front and the back. Press into your hands, inhale, rise your right heel high, three-legged dog. This time bend your right knee and stack your hip. Take three full hip circles. Start to draw your right knee beside your left, into your chest and out to the side and up. The next time that your knee draws up through center, pause as you exhale, step your right foot through high runner's lunge. Inhale breath, rise your hands tall, and then just start to soften into that back hip. Now you can always lower your back knee for a monkey lunge instead. Interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders once or twice. And then start to drive your knuckles towards your back heel. Send your shoulder blades towards one another. Gaze might even lift up. Take a full breath in, feel your chest rise. As you exhale, maybe sink just a little bit deeper. One more breath. Allow yourself to be in this shape. Inhale, release the grip of your hands, sweep your fingertips up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Okay. Squeeze your glutes so that your legs start to externally rotate. Root through the pinky side edge of your back foot. Check to make sure your front knee is tracking your ankle. Okay. Flip your front palm to face up. As you inhale, straighten out your front leg. Reach your right hand up towards the sky, lean back. Exhale, warrior two. Two more just like that. Inhale, rise your right hand up, left hand sides down your back leg. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale, breath, rise up. And exhale, warrior two. Keep your arms as they are. Straighten into your front leg. Turn and pivot your right toes to the side of your mat. Warrior two to the back. Left toes turn towards the back of the mat, bend into your left knee. Take a full breath in. And exhale, soften. This time, flip your front palm to face up. So left hand towards the sky. Inhale, straighten into your left leg, lean back. Exhale, bend into your left knee, warrior two. Gaze can follow your hand if you'd like. Really starting to find that connection of your breath, creating slow movement. So you can take that fullest expression of your breath. Okay, the next time that you land yourself in a warrior two, just pause, take a full breath in. As you exhale, high lunge facing the back of your mat, sweep your right hand down, turn and pivot onto your back toes and then reach your fingertips all the way up. Interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders up and down, send your knuckles towards your back heel, Draw your inner thighs towards one another, knowing you can always drop down to that back knee if this feels like too much too soon. Give yourself that kindness of full breath. And then as you exhale, gently release the grip of your fingertips down towards your mat. Step your left toes to meet your right high plank. Lower down onto your knees. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, belly and heart towards the earth. Inhale, breath, baby cobra. Exhale, release down. Press back to a child's pose and take an extra breath to just linger. 
me into down dog when you're ready. Inhale breath, send your left heel high to the sky. Bend into your left knee, stack into your hip. Take three full circles, left knee draws down beside your right, into your chest and out to the side. Hold steady through all 10 fingertips. The next time that your left knee rises high, as you exhale, step your left foot through your hands, low runner's lunge. Keep your right hand rooted, always optional to use your block, right hand onto your block. And then as you inhale, twist open to the left. Left hand reaches all the way up. Always optional, lower your back knee if you'd like. Otherwise, start to rise your fingertips away from your block. On an inhale breath, stack your shoulders over top of your hips. So you're coming to a lunge twist. Left hand can root at the base of your spine if you'd like. Draw your right fingertips up. Maybe a slight lean back. On your inhale breath, sweep your left fingertips down and up, crescent lunge facing the back of your mat. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Okay. Flip into your front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior, straighten out your front leg. And then exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extended side angle. Take your left forearm onto your thigh. Right hand reaches up and over. And then exhale, warrior two. Okay. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, straighten out your front leg, left hand to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extended side angle. And exhale, come back through center. One more time, inhale breath, rise up, exhale to warrior two. Inhale, extended side angle, this time holding. Now you can keep this form onto the thigh. You can always reach for your block and take your left hand onto your block. Optional to work into a half bind, right hand reaches behind your back. Press the back of your hand in towards your left hip if you're in that bind. Keep that deep bend into your front knee. And gently, you can release the grip that you have with your bind. Right hand reaches all the way back up. Inhale, lift up through center. And then exhale, find where you're to facing the front of your mat. Turn and pivot left toes to the side, right toes point forward, bend into your right knee. Flip your right palm to face up. Inhale, rise tall, right hand lifts. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extended side angle. And exhale, warrior two. Two more just like that. Inhale, straighten out your front leg, reach your right hand up. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, extended side angle, lengthen through the side body. And then exhale, rise tall. Take one more round of that movement, and then you'll meet into your extended side angle the next time that you land there. Okay. Try to soften some of the weight out of that front forearm so that you're using more of the muscles around your core to hold you. You're welcome to take any variation, knowing if you need a block, you can always reach for that block at the top of your mat, work into a half bind, Maybe you even play with rolling the rib cage open, stacking left shoulder over top of right. Gently, you can start to unwind from this pose. Inhale, breath, rise tall, warrior two. And then start to turn and pivot the back foot, crescent lunge. Sweep your left fingertips down and up. As you exhale, twist over to your right. Right hand comes back, left fingertips forward. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. And then use your right hand to stabilize your low back. Float your left fingertips up. Optional, lower your back knee down if this is what your body is telling you it needs. Take one more breath wherever you are. And then when you go to exhale, start to hinge forward, 
Bring your left hand to a block or to the mat. And then inhale, glide your right fingertips all the way up. On an exhale breath, gently release your right hand down. Step back, high plank. Cycle through any vinyasa that you'd like, or just simply meet into downward facing dog, hips rise up. Slowly, you can lower to the earth. Take a couple of recovery breaths in child's pose. This will be here for about a minute or so. Allow your breath to be full. Maybe even taking a count of four or five on the inhale. And you can even take longer on the exhale to really tap into the parasympathetic nervous system. Remembering that your body is just waking up for the day. So this practice is an invitation to self. It doesn't have to be big and explosive. It can really just be a smooth transition from rest into wakefulness. Allowing yourself maybe that opportunity to reset in these last couple of breaths. Maybe to let go of anything you don't want to bring into this day with you or offering yourself an avenue to kindness. Meet back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale breath, rise your right heel high to the sky, bend into your right knee, stack into your hip. This time take three circles in the opposite direction. Bring your right knee out wide, in towards your chest, and then down beside your left. You might feel a little bit more sticky or awkward, sometimes moving in that opposite direction. The next time that your knee comes up through center, as you exhale, gently step your foot between your hands. Root through your left fingertips. Inhale, breath, rise open to twist. We've been here before. On your next inhale, breath, start to rise tall. Shoulders stack over top of your hips. Right hand roots to your spine. Inhale, take your left hand all the way up. Exhale, soften, maybe sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, breath, sweep your right fingertips down and up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Okay. Flip your front palm to face up. Inhale, straighten out your front leg, lean back. A little bit different, exhale, triangle. Send your hips back, reach through your right fingertips. When you can't reach through your right fingertips anymore, take your right hand to the inside of your front leg, left fingertips reach up. Optional, you can always work into that half bind here as well. Keep a soft bend into your front knee so that you're not pressing the kneecap back and hyperextending this joint. If you have found this twist, just gently start to unwind the arm. Take your left hand all the way up. Inhale, breath, rise tall. Exhale, turn and pivot your right toes to the side of your mat. Hands come onto your hips. Roll your shoulders once or twice. As you inhale, pull your elbows back, lift through your chest. As you exhale, start to hinge and fold forward, wide-legged forward fold. Release your hands towards the earth. Walk your fingertips out in front of you. So you're coming to a wide-legged variation of down dog. So maybe about two feet out in front. You'll notice your weight comes into your hands. So then just start to shift your weight back to your heels, melt your heart towards the earth. Okay. Walk your thumbs together to touch and then look underneath your left armpit towards the back of your mat. Reach your right hand for your back foot. So left foot or ankle or shin or thigh. Start to add in a twist, pulling your heart towards your back leg. 
Relax into the back of your head and neck. And then unwind through center, replace your left hand with your right. You can always shift forward if you need a moment of pause. And then start to shift your weight back into your heels. Look underneath your right armpit and start to twist to the front. Left hand binds your right ankle, calf, shin. Gently unwind back through center. Walk your fingertips in towards your body underneath your shoulders. Turn and pivot your left toes towards the back of your mat, but keep your right toes facing the side. So this is where a block might come in handy. Left hand can come onto a block or both hands onto a block. Half moon, shift your weight into your left foot facing the back of your mat. Pick up your right heel. Right toes point out towards the side of the room. Optional, take your right hand onto your right hip or all the way up towards the sky. You make sure you're squeezing this glute. That's gonna help stack that hip as well as send your hips forward in line with the rest of your body. Bend into your standing leg, lift up to warrior two. So right foot starts to root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, soften into your front knee. Flip your front palm to face up. Inhale, lift, straightening into your front leg. And then exhale, triangle. Send your hips back, reach through your left fingertips. When you can't reach anymore, take your left hand down, right hand rises tall. Option to play with a half bind, right hand behind your back towards your left hip flexor. Maybe roll open through the chest or the shoulders. And then gently release any bind or grip that you have. As you inhale, lift all the way back up through center, five-pointed star, turn your toes to the side of your mat, interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders once or twice, knuckles pulled down towards the earth. Inhale, lift through the chest, Exhale, start to hinge and fold. Okay. Gently walk your fingertips forward once again into that wide-legged down dog. A little bit different this time, just start to shift your hips side to side. So you might bend into one knee. You can also trace a figure eight with your hips or your sacrum. But really just using your hands more so to steady you so you can start to release any tension you're harboring in your lower back. Start to create some movement and mobility into your hips. You can always walk your hands in closer if you need more stability. And then the next time that you move through center, pause. Walk your fingertips underneath your shoulders. Turn and pivot your right toes to face the top of your mat. Walk your fingertips to frame your right foot or to grab a hold of the block at the top of your mat. Float your left heel off of your mat. Left toes point out towards the side. Squeeze your left glute. Optional, start to stack your left shoulder over top of your right. Maybe left fingertips extend up, but remembering that you can take any of these variations and it's still perfect for your yoga practice. Draw your belly button into your spine, core engages. Warrior two, just be mindful if there is a block at the back of your mat that you're not stepping on that. Bend into your standing leg, inhale, breath, rise tall. Exhale to just sink into your front knee. All right, a little bit different. Straighten into your front leg, warrior two to the back of your mat. Okay. Sweep your right fingertips down and up. Face the back of your mat, crescent lunge. Take a full breath in. Exhale, twist over to your left. Lower your right hand down towards a block or the ground. Take a full breath in. And then exhale, release your left hand towards the earth. Step back to a high plank. Vinyasa or option to just lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. 
and a long exhale breath out. Walk your big toes together to touch. Inhale, rise your right heel high. Bend into your right knee, stack into your hip. Optional, if you want to flip the dog, you have a couple of breaths here. So you can start to lower your right toes to the earth. Roll to the pinky side edge of your left foot. Rise your hips up. Right hand reaches forward. If you have flipped your dog in the next breath or so, unflip right hand to the ground, right foot rises. And then when you exhale, half pigeon, take your right knee towards your right wrist and right ankle to the left side of your mat. Okay, if half pigeon isn't available, you can find deer or you can always thread the needle on your seat or your back. You can take a moment to stack shoulders over hips. Make sure that your hips are square. And then whenever you're ready, melting forward. Sometimes the hardest part of our practice isn't the challenging poses, but it's slowing down and just being present. And so if you did notice that you were shifting out of the present moment, distracted, that this is just an opportunity to come back home to self. It's challenging to be kind when we don't have the space to be aware. And so kindness to self is often just taking the time to notice how you're feeling. Take the time to let go of any thoughts, past actions that haven't been kind. And to just offer yourself some space to move through these next couple of breaths. Walk your fingertips back in towards your body. Step back to a downward facing dog. Tuck your left toes, float your right foot back. You can pedal this out. If you're craving a vinyasa, you're welcome to take it. Otherwise, just finding small movements. When you're ready, just simply finding the other side. Left heel rises high, bend into your left knee, stack your hips. Always option to flip your dog for a breath or two if you're craving that movement. Otherwise, when you exhale, you'll just bring your left knee to your left wrist, left ankle to the right side of your mat. Okay, so facing the back of your mat, or if you're facing the front, that's totally fine too. Just take a moment to settle into this shape, and then when you're ready, fold to a depth that allows you to be present. That allows you to just breathe. Soak up the opportunity or excitement for this day ahead. Because each day that we step into is really a blank canvas. And we are both the artist and the art. And knowing what you choose to paint on this canvas is what you choose to create. And so I hope that you choose to be just a little bit kinder to self, even if your day goes far from perfect. But there is always room to be gentle, compassionate, kind.
Walk your fingertips back up in towards your body. Okay, a little bit of a funky transition. You'll land on your back in wind relieving pose. So start to roll towards your left hip. Lower yourself down, keep your left knee bent, and then just bring your left knee in towards your chest. Left knee can draw more towards the side of your rib cage, right leg extended out. Feel that duality of the compression of one side of your body and the elongation of the opposite side. Allow your elbows to drop heavy towards the earth. Add in a twist, right hand guides your left knee across your body. Left hip can lift away from the earth. Just make sure that both shoulder blades stay rooted down. If it's comfortable, close down your eyes. Come back to long, smooth, slow breath. Notice how each breath is a new beginning, a new opportunity to start over. And that even in the breath, we can be kind to self in choosing to let go. Physically, let go of tension, let your body sink in. Unwind back through center. You can give your left knee a big hug in and then gently release your left foot to the earth. Slide your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg long, hands into your legs on top of your shin or hamstring. Draw your right knee more to the side of your rib cage. Left heel extends away from your body. Slow this down until it's just you and your breath. And whatever is here within this moment, allowing the past to stay in the past and future to stay ahead without needing to know all of the answers. Move towards twist. Left hand guides your right knee across your body Right arm extends out. Know that you can always bend both knees if that feels better for your hips or low back. Gaze might follow your extended fingertips. And it'll sound funny to say, but truly just breathe for yourself here in this moment. Feel what it is to take in a deep sip of air and then to fully let go. Almost like this breath is a love note that you're sending to self. Gently begin to bring your gaze up through center, untangle your legs, bring both knees into your chest and just give yourself one more giant squeeze, maybe a gentle rock side to side. If there's any poses you're craving, like a happy baby or a shoulder stand, or you just need some movement, you're welcome to find that before landing into final Shavasana. So we have a little bit of extra time this morning. So just tap into what does your body need for you to step fully and mindfully into this day? Once you do land in Shavasana, you'll just take any shifts that allow you to be comfortable and allow you space to just unwind.
it seems like it should be easy. And we're often quite good at offering others kindness. But so often we beat ourselves up for not being close enough to perfection, not being where we want to be or thought we'd be, not having it all figured out. But isn't that life to not know and to try anyways? Life isn't about the destination. If everything worked out, it'd be a pretty boring life. It's about the mistakes, the journey, the ups and the downs. It's about the balance between the good and the bad, the light and the dark. It's really this journey of just coming home to yourself. And so there's two ways that we can go about that. We can choose to berate ourselves and push through the pain and the exhaustion and end up at the finish point, maybe a little bit faster. Or we can choose to take our time and enjoy and know that mistakes are a part of this and find forgiveness. Know that there's no external validation of enough and it doesn't rest on what you do or accomplish in this life. That you started this life as enough and you continue through it as enough. And so kindness is really just a way of moving through life in a way that's more enjoyable. In a way that allows you to be a participant that allows you to be mindful and aware of what it is to be human. And if you're ever struggling with that throughout this week or subsequent weeks to come, talk to yourself like you're talking to a friend. With the feedback you're getting from your body and your heart, what would a friend say to you? And then step into this day, week, the rest of this year with that same attitude that you can be a friend to self. I'll leave you here to rest for just a couple of moments. And I'll bring you out of Shavasana so we can start our day together.
If you need a little longer in Shavasana, just listen to your body. Your body knows best. If you are ready to move into this beautifully blank and wonderful canvas of a day, just slowly start to wake up your body. Imagine the most nourishing wake up that you could and just offer that to yourself. If you are choosing to move, this next minute or so will bring you to a seat, hands to heart center. And as you all know, I love mudras or hand gestures. So we're gonna close with a different one today. Instead of hands directly at heart center, palms together, to start to peel your fingertips away, but keep your thumbs and pinkies together. So the Lotus Mudra is a half blooming Lotus. You can just keep your eyes closed. This Mudra represents our journey to blooming. And we may, might not be fully bloomed just yet, but that we are still beautiful and worthy and that this journey is all a part of the experience of being human. So to remember to just be kind to yourself as you move through whatever lays ahead. So much love, so much gratitude from the bottom of my heart. Namaste.